What is up guys, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. I would like to share with you guys this crazy Gangplank and Twisted Fate deck that splashes into PNZ. I can't take credit for this deck. This was piloted by a player in the top 30 Masters Asia. It's really cool because I really enjoy and get hyped when I see uh, off meta stuff or different forms of lists that aren't traditional. Um, finding success in high levels of gameplay, that is really cool. Try to do a bit of research, figure out where it originally come from. That's the best information I have got. In a moment, we'll jump across and we'll have a look at the cards, talk about what they're here and what they should be doing. Just want to say I'm aware I didn't get a video up yesterday. I do apologize if I'm being honest. I will found myself a griefing and a little bit sad and disappointed because we were pretty close to hitting masters. I spent, I played a lot of Rune Terror. But anyway, I decided to take day off. So yeah, we're back. We're back. And this list is spicy and it's really good against uh, the, some of the current S tier decks. So let's have a go have a look. So this deck is uh, the spicy. So obviously we're running uh, GP and Gangplank. This is the Bilge Water Champions, the kind of the build around in this deck. I think Twisted Fate's more of a support. This deck kind of aims to level up GP pretty comfortably, but can still just do some crazy nonsense without leveling them up because, you know, it is Bilgewater, Riptide Rex is pretty crazy, right? <laughs> uh, so at the moment, we're gonna have a couple games here against Hyman Control and uh, Deep Sea Monsters. These are good examples of games to show you uh, how they can perform against some of the current S tier decks. But anyway, so at the top end, Riptide Rex, three of, it's not hard to trigger his ability and could be a bit of a game changer. A uh, GP is a three of, so he's actually, um. Splashing into PNZ, we have literally some of the powerful spells like Static Shock, uh, Mystic Shot, and as well as actually running Boom Crew Rookie, which is um, cool. It's cool to see Boom Crew Rookie in a deck that is not Burn Aggro, am I right? But that's pretty cool. It's not hard to activate him off of your uh, Dreadway Deckhands and your Kegs, etc. As well as triggering uh, your Plunder. So we do run the Black Market Merchant and, you know, the Make It Rain, Pilfered Goods, Jagged Butcher, that kind of stuff. Jagged Butcher is low key, uh, pretty powerful one drop. One minute, two, two is already pretty great. You don't want to try and like purposely go out of your way to level them up on turn one by like dropping warning shots or anything. Not that we actually run the warning shot in this deck. But we do run three Yordle Grifters. Our uh, percentages are really high on hitting value from the Yordle Grifter, but mostly it's just the body as well as the warning shot. This, this deck obviously has cut warning shot, and I think it makes a bit of sense here because we're more focused on some other game strategies. Uh, Petty Officer, three of. Uh, Parley, two of. I guess it's kind of good for dealing with Omen Hawks early and beating up on some aggro decks if they may be prevalent. So the fate doesn't have like a ton of support here, but I guess he's just a decent unit all round and against some certain matchups if like for example if they don't necessarily have the answers to directly deal with him then you can sometimes level him up. I, I think it's going to be a little bit hard to level him up in this list because your main source of draw is like literally the pilfer goods and static shock but outside of that twist of fate provides you with three cards blue card Gold card, red card, which are quite powerful, flexible. I think Twisted Face is the other fitting champion in this deck because GP is the main, the main, the main boy. So I think Twisted Fate is kind of is a good support. I wonder if there'd be a list out there that might even consider running like Ezreal or something instead. But I think I've noticed that you kind of aim to burn them down, get to Riptide Rex and end the game. That is my hot take for the deck and how I believe it's kind of roughly trying to run. You do have ways of taking over the board quite easily and an early boom crew rookie is going to go a long way for this list anyway let's jump across hope you can enjoy the games just want to say thank you once again and if you're new here consider subscribing we are posting regularly runeterra videos showcasing decks and high level gameplay uh, you might have to argue on the high level gameplay part but uh thank you guys so much i will see you soon you can never deal with the jagger butcher turn one this is actually a pretty insane curve. Jagger Butcher is a low, P, uh, low key, pretty just interesting two drop. One minute two twos aren't necessarily that bad, plus it has an upside of becoming a three three. And not being able to dealt with turn one is pretty relevant against a lot of the popular meta decks. Wow, the curve's pretty insane, isn't it? Let's go. 
pretty sure I'm supposed to attempt to open attack and hope that maybe it connects. It probably never connects though. It's unlikely it connects. I develop. I'd be happy if he has to use something else. I think I'm playing too passive if I don't develop. I'm trying to get value from the petty officer. I can't be right. From the uh, black market merchant, sorry. It never, it never usually gets through. So we're gonna summon a one a random one cost ally in this position. Summon to HP is nice. I could always just pilfered goods. The dragon approaches. This is weird. Do you want to get back to work? Pretty sure if I swing with this, I should connect something. Or force him into like a uh I think I go for it. Even if he takes a value against my one two. Double Mystic Shot can get the job done here. Expensive. What can I steal from his deck that makes any difference to make me consider using Pilfered Goods now? I somehow feel like I'm not supposed to do it right now, and I'm supposed to seek more value from it. Like, I'll never be having another chance to do it. I don't want to thin out his deck to make him draw into his Heimerdinger and Vi faster. Within my grasp. I'm fine to take this. I'm uh, not sure if it's Twisted Fate time. Yeah, we just saw him drop hey, a Mystic Shot and a Thermo Beam to clear my board. How far would you go? So we have eight PNZ cards, so high chances of hitting, hitting Yordle Griff to value if we decide to take that route. Like ideally I drop Twist of Fate, he is forced to use anything that's not Mystic Shot. I think that's like the best outcome. And the real question is, I think we refill. I actually think that we should be refilling. We got we got cards. I'm gonna refill here. Call me crazy. But I like drawing cards and getting more mana. Plus, for the chance he hasn't got the answers to Twist of Fate right now. So he unfortunately he had the um Mystic Shot, which is like the one thing I hoped that he wouldn't have to use there, but it's from the top of his deck, so... That's two of his Mystic Shots down. Riptide Rex is insane against, uh, Deny decks. I think I need to be playing the Aggressor here, don't I? Yeah, force him, force him to use his mana now, so we can have a slow Heimerdinger start. I pretty much drop GP and then he like, I don't know what he does, he just kind of folds. Best outcome is a Thermo Beam from this position. Is that ever worth it to trade my GP for his fire? I think it might have to be. You 
dare slack on my ship. Break their legs. Bring it. I think it has to be fine. I think I have to accept this is what has to happen. Because otherwise, I haven't really got ways of dealing with it for a while. I got him to spend like a little bit of mana. I'm fine to let this go down, aren't I? So he wants to play Heimdinger and he has three mana for some cards. We missed the allegiance, so we have a Thermo Beam, Static Shock, or Mystic Shot off the top. Do I make him lose all that mana? That's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good. Do I need to go more aggressive here? Maybe I've just gotta make him use his mana now, because he hasn't got Heimendinger in hand. I don't know. Sure. I'm actually, I might be literally helping him draw into Heimendinger, but at this point, I'm just going to be annoying. How far are you? Oh my god, he just drops to the field. I'll uh, drop a, I think that's a good one there for that position. Literally, you're going to let me, you're going to let me chill with this board? At this point, he probably feels, oh my god. He's losing so much mana. Huh. Interesting. Part of me wants to play slow. Also, part of me just wants to pressure him down. Look, look at this. Look at this crazy burn in hand. can keep two backed up for Riptide Rex. Riptide Rex is actually, now that I think about it, an insane card against Heimendinger. See, I think at this point I have to be happy to swing now. And there should be a way to kill him. You ask, but do not see. Spring does not pity winter. So I know that he hasn't got, he's, he's probably not sitting on Mystic Shock, he's already played two. I guess I should be happy with that, because now he can't clear anything I buff with Twin Disciplines. And I could quite definitely kill him this turn. He'd need a Mystic Shot, one of my dudes here. He would literally need Mystic Shot. I'm not mistaken, I should have lethal. Or be one off. I may have misplayed here. Let's mystic shot. He can actually be on, sitting on one. I still went for it though. Um, yeah, the cause of the cause of the dragon has uh, three attacks. Sorry, I thought I had two two attack units, and showing me the minus two there means that if he cleared the cause of the dragon, then there was a high chance we were in there. We literally saw him use two of them, so yeah. So like, I actually made it to diamond one with ADLP using a deck of my own. It was a Noxus Ionia aggro, which I had tweaked uh, many times, a few times, and I thought I'd found a pretty solid list. I think uh, the power of that deck was simply coming to the fact that it was due to the randomness of ladder and not being able to predict what I was playing. So being at Diamond One ADLP with that list, I really thought like I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna make it, and uh, I was pretty happy, quite happy, if I'm being honest. To not only be winning, that's one thing I guess that feels good, but to be winning with something that you create yourself, it really means something to a card game player. It would mean something to me at least.
So we're basically deep, so I guess the uh, idea for us would be to pretty much play as aggressive as possible and just kind of not play around everything. Just hope that he has draws kind of bad. I don't ever think I swing here. Oh, I don't swing here. Why would I swing there? Wait, mana? Never block this. What would be correct here? Summoning or Static Shock buffing? I think it's summoning. That's actually probably a pretty, the one of the best finds we can get. Maybe. How much do I care about the plunder this turn? Somehow I feel like I'm supposed to like somehow get the Thorny Toad at least because it's probably going to die at some point. Maybe I can set it up to die from Static Shock. Deny I'm healing at least should be good enough. That landed literally like probably the best outcome for us. So he's got the Make It Rain version. I don't think they would be running Vile Feast in that case. I'm, I'm gonna take a safe assumption that there'll be no Vile Feast there. Maybe he overcommits the mana here. I can play Twisted Fate. So we skip that. It may not be Twisted Fate time yet. He gets bummed out by a grasp. If I pass, he passes. So I think I have to develop here. I'm the aggressor, he can chill back. So something like Yordle Grifter would have to be acceptable. A card like this, not too useful. I wonder how much I should be looking to develop GP's level. Probably like very good discards for him. What does he play this turn? He could very much go deep on me. He could play like an Abyssal Eye and then go deep. Maybe it's Twist of Fate. A red card. Clear this. I'm not sure if that's correct. Activating my plunder. I'm literally helping him go deep. It's crazy. <laughs> Pardon me. Looks like trouble. Seize the opportunity. Guess I'll attack now. I'd be shocked if he's sitting on another make it rain. Do I go for the make it rain play here? It wouldn't even be reduced in price. What, what? What mana card could he have? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna play a 3-3. <laughs> So he's sitting on an empty amount of mana this turn. We have mana advantage. I think something like Gangplank coming down this turn should be acceptable. 
Riptide Rex getting it down before his uh prior to uh him playing Nautilus would be good too. Got no levels on GP, got one level on GP. So now he's deep sitting on a pretty empty hand though. I think it's time for me to start going aggressive against him. It's not uh, unlikely for him to have Nautilus in hand. Just like pretty much all of his mana. Somehow I feel like I'm supposed to swing first. And he plays Nautilus. He never blocks the uh, GP. So I could probably push more damage if I actually allow him this to develop. Cake's not finding much value. This is probably makes more sense. I mean, he could also have Ruination, right? But he's not playing Nautilus, so that's good for me. And that means I get to... Can't beat that, can I? Unless I draw from his deck something. Yeah. At least it's not Nautilus, so I should be pretty happy about that. It's an interesting turn. Someone a wind, random one cost ally. Maybe someone with elusive? Draw. Swing my ass. Swing my ass? I think I swing my ass. I think I, if I, um. Yeah, I should float this mana. If he plays Nautilus next turn, would it not be unreasonable for me to like plunder afterwards? Do I get an action pass back to me? No, it's burst speed, right? Hopefully he dodges the Nautilus here. Oh shit, that's really good for us. They all hitting where I need them to hit. It looks like they're all going where I need them to go. That's really good for us. around no way we slow play we just we just go in there acceptable I feel like the, the final few cards in his deck are actually, um... It's cards I can't plunder, so I can't plunder yet. How many kegs do I have? This is so slow, I can't do that yet. Oh, 
see. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a dying. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Get to work. Should I have Mystic Shirley's face? What a twist of fate for four damage. It's not entirely crazy for me to find burn in my deck. I'm gonna try this. I wonder if there's a way to level up GP prior to this. No, it's not. Can't pilfer until after he plays Nort. Maybe I need to save that for um when he plays Nautilus. All good, never punished. The water rises. I think he may just be dead. I think he might be dead. What a top deck. <coughs> so we're beating up with some of the meta decks, hey, aren't we? Feels good. That feels really good. Feels good to do back a diamond too. So I was supposed to like take a extended period of uh, break time, by the way, guys. I'll leave you on this note. I was going to take a break for the rest of the day, but I figured <laughs> I should put a YouTube video up regardless of my attitude and how I felt today. I posted a whole Twitter status about it, but um, yeah, it was just an unlucky day and you're going to get that sometimes and it, you, you should be taking breaks. You, you lose a couple games, you should definitely take a break. And then, uh, you know, if you lose a couple more, then you should probably just, you know, maybe stop for the day or something. I lost... I went from Diamond 1 80 LP down to Diamond 3 60 LP, so yeah. that definitely deserves a break. But regardless, I want to put some content up and show you guys something cool. I thought this list was very, very cool and I hope you can enjoy it and I can highly recommend it. Uh, I, can't, I need to find out information about who the player is, but it was a top 30 Asia deck by a player and uh, yeah, real powerful and very off meta and very strong in the meta, I guess you'll say. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll be seeing you soon.